Good morning, Andrews University. How are we doing? Good, good. I hope everything is going well. My name is Tong Chan, and I'm the president of ASA, Andrews University Students Association. Um, and now is the time of the year that we elect and hear the speeches from the, the elected positions. So um, I'll tell you guys what ASA has been up to and how these positions are related to these positions, how these positions are related to ASA. So um, ASA has been working very hard to make changes on campus, so executive vice president and senator at large has been working on that. Um, we've been working on the events as well, so religious events, social events, all the events that we've been bringing to you guys was by social vice president and religious vice president. And we've been giving you the um, articles, newspapers, and that's brought to you by the newspaper, e newspaper editor, editor-in-chief. And not, last but not least, president has been the leader of the ASA and was the overseer of ASA. Um, and so glad you guys are joining us today, even whoever is joining us online, who's recording us, and whoever is joining us and seeing the recorded version of it. And even though if you're in person here, welcome. So glad you're joining us. Um, I'm going to pray, and let's get this started. Lord, thank you so much for this opportunity that we can hear speeches from different candidates. Um, Lord, please bless us as you have done in the past. Please continue to bless us and give us wisdom. Please be with all the candidates who's giving us speech and let you be glorified. Let only you be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And how, is, how this is going to work is where the outgoing officers will, inter will be introducing the candidates. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Karenna. I'm the current senator at large. So that's essentially the position that represents the interests of the general student body. And so that's in AUSA meetings and Senate meetings. And we've been doing things as Tong Chen has been saying, like getting more study spaces for you guys and talking to admin about co-curricular credit. So I hope you will welcome Ralph Gifford and Rock Choi, our senator at large candidates. Hello, hello? All right. Hi, I'm Ralph. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I like math and science stuff, so I'm like a math and chem major. Um, you're probably not wondering why I'm running for senator at large. You're probably just here for co-curricular credit, but you get to hear my spiel anyways. So, I'm running. I have some ideas. Uh, if you all heard why co-curricular credits aren't like tailored to your majors or stuff. I really think that co-curricular should be more like designed for what you want and for life. So that's one thing. And I'm not done yet. Wait till the end. <laughs> okay. So also, you know, the gazebo could probably be used to a little more open, a little more options. Want to want to get that working, so I, I've got some plans and I, some ideas and I want to work on those. So I got a little bit of experience kind of doing this thing. Uh, I worked in the Senate this past year on a, a project to level out some of the curves, make it easier for people in wheelchairs or bikers to get on those curbs. Uh, I also was a TLT and a guide in Pathfinders. I taught a couple honors and I was homeschooled. Yeah, I was the president every year of my homeschool class. And, and the vice president, too. And all the other positions. It was a lot of work. You guys probably have more experience in student government than I do. But I've never been one to let my past hold me back, so I'm going to try my best, because I really care about Andrews and its students. Thank you. Wow, that was, wow. What a guy, right? Okay. Um, good morning. My name is Rock Choi, and I'm running for Senator at Large in the 2022-2023 school year. I believe the Senator at Large should make sure this university is run not only in the way the school board believes is best, but also allows the students to become an important part in helping our school become better every year. 
In order to do this, the Senate and its senators must be constantly active in making sure every complaint and suggestion, no matter what it is, is thoughtfully considered. And the previous Senates have done a great job gathering opinions and ideas to start making changes. However, you might have noticed that some things have not changed yet. For example, I've heard many STEM students complain about their exhausting hours spent at the science complex, either doing research or labs, with little time to eat between their classes. So a possible solution that I heard from seniors in STEM is to add a vending machine in the science complex. Of course, this wouldn't be enough for a full meal, but even a little snack can boost your energy for those longer labs and exhausting study sessions. And while I'm on the topic of vending machines, uh, many students may have realized that the one in the library has not worked for the entire school year, at least when I was there, um, which isn't a lot. But um, it's these little things like these. It's like a bag of chips or a cold drink that can make a big difference in someone's day. As Senator at large, I will represent the student body and bring small yet powerful changes to the school, ensuring that the students feel heard by the faculty and confident that they'll be able to eat something after class. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So my name is Alyssa Henriquez, and I'm this year's student movement editor-in-chief. Um, and so basically, before I introduce our candidate, I'm just gonna let you know a little bit about what the student movement does um, as an organization. So the student movement is the official newspaper here at Andrews University. We publish each week on Fridays, and the provost sends you all an email to our site. Um, and our goal as an organization is basically threefold. Um, so firstly, it's to keep the student body informed about what's happening in our campus and our community. Our second goal is to elevate student voices on campus. And our third goal is to provide a platform for people to engage in important conversations about both what's happening here in our Andrews community and in the world at large. The editor-in-chief of the student movement leads a team of editors and writers around campus who each week create articles for publication in our newspaper. This afternoon, it is my great pleasure to introduce you to our candidate for the student movement editor for the 2022 to 2023 academic year, someone who I've worked with closely this entire year as a section editor, Alana Chatra. All right, happy Thursday, everybody. Um, okay, well, uh, raise your hand if you've heard, or if you know what the student movement is for today. Yes? Okay, great. Um, if you've heard of it, that is all due to our editor-in-chief currently, Alyssa, if we could give her another round of applause. <laughs> all right, um, so, like Alyssa said, my name is Alana, and I am running for the student movement editor-in-chief position for the 2022 to 2023 school year. Um, and I thought about this for a while, you know, why am I doing this? Um, I mean, I thought, you know, I really like writing. Um, I've enjoyed being on the team this past year uh, and just uh, getting to uh, edit people's articles and read people's ideas and thoughts. Um, but I was thinking, you know, what else? And so uh, I figured it came down to uh, how could I do my part to try and enhance kind of the Andrews University experience. Um, and I know that COVID has put a bit of a damper on school enthusiasm everywhere. And as we're coming out of that, I hope to get students back into the swing of things. Um, I want to see people excited about Andrews and I want to see them enjoying campus life here despite uh, some of the drawbacks that uh, may still be present because of the pandemic. Um, yeah, I want to make people laugh and think and help people discover all kinds of new possibilities and ways of being. Um, I'm really excited to put out ideas that give a sincere picture of who we are as a campus and um, push the boundaries of what this campus could be overall. I think each article in news here is uh, essentially a story, right? Um, whether that be a story of one person or a group of people or the writer themselves, um, I think each individual here is, is incredible in their own right. And if you'll allow me, I would love to hear and share your stories uh, through the wonderful medium that is the Andrews, Univers Andrews University newspaper. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Oh, man, I'm too tall. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm here to introduce the social VP candidates. Um, the social vice president is a very important job under AUSA. Um, if you look on the surface of the job, it's mainly just an event planner, um, creating events for the Andrews student body to come together and enjoy and become more of a community with each other. Um, it may sound like that, but the social VP position comes with tremendous responsibility, communication with the majority of this campus, student life, campus ministries, other clubs um, on campus, and lots and lots of creativity. Um, the individual that takes on this position must be extremely adaptable and willing to work with others, working with the rest of the AUSA team and this individual's assistants and the rest of campus um, to put together events and create that community for you. Here to give their speeches for Social VP for the 2022-2023 school year will be Haley Prestis, followed by Denise Irujo. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Oh, okay. I'm not sure if I'm like too short. All right. <laughs> Hi, guys. As she said, my name is Haley Prestis. I'm a sophomore in interior design here at Andrews, and I'm running for AUSA Social Vice President. I have contributed in event planning pretty much my entire life because my family is super involved in that. My mom likes to say that I made my first balloon arch before I knew how to talk, which is definitely not true, but <laughs> thanks for the credit, mom. And I almost decided to pursue a career in event planning, but we see that did not work out. I did not go for that. But um, it is a big passion of mine that I have been doing for a long time. Um, I have always, oh sorry, that's a good part. I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> this past year, I've had the privilege to work hand in hand with our social VP, Taylor Beek, which, queen. Can we give her a round of applause? Because she did amazing this year. <laughs> And being an assistant has shown me the relative ins and outs of AUSA and how it's run, as well as first-hand experience on this position. My experience has already been shown at Andrews University through this assistant position, as well as being the event coordinator for WEAU and the creative director for Proximity Vespers. <laughs> shout out. I have always loved, I said shout out, I'm not. <laughs> I have always loved taking leadership positions and have experienced the drift between students, administration, and student leaders, specifically AUSA. I hope to close that gap and create an environment where we can all have open conversations, that our opinions and suggestions be heard, and most importantly, create a voice for you. Most students probably don't feel involved in the thought that goes into AU events. However, I would like to make that change and let it be known that these events are for you. Therefore, you should get more of, who should get more of a say than you? I already have so many ideas for new events, such as an AU Olympics tournament, more collaborations with clubs, and as well as plans to improve some of the classics, such as expanding open gym hours and revamping the barn party. A vote for me would mean a vote for the events of your dreams. <laughs> it would be an honor to serve you as your social VP, so vote for me, Haley P. I'm oh, sorry, that was cringy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hello, people. So, okay. I'm a little bit nervous. English is not my first language, so sorry if I pronounce it. Yeah. OK, yeah. So hi, my name is Denise Irujo. And I'm 19 years old. I am a sophomore, and I am studying architecture. And I come from the most beautiful place in the entire universe, the Caribbean. People from the Caribbean are here. Yes, sir. Yeah, we, like, we're the best, OK? OK. So I come from DR, Dominican Republic. So. Since I came here to Andrews, I actually have not been like in a direction position or something. I have been like in several like groups and everything. But like this year, I wanted me, I wanted to like be like to change something in Andrews, to, to, direct, to do a change here in Andrews. So what's better than being a social vice president? In also like you do activities and everything, and like you can impact other people's life. So that's what I did. So I am here doing my social things. So why I should be, why I want to be social vice president? Personally, I think that 
We all know Andrews is a very international school and we have like so many different backgrounds. And I really think like we need to Im like reflect that in our like outside and everything because like there's not that much diversity when it comes to like our heads and outside and everything. So I think like we should all like bring all these like backgrounds together and make like one so we can, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's why I'm running because I think like if we all come united, we can do better things, like amazing things because we are people. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, so so yeah, basically that's it. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is T. I have been the executive vice president this last year of AUSA. The EVP, of course, assists the president um, with their duties. But more significantly, the EVP is the chairperson of the AUSA Senate, which, um, as you heard with the senator at large position, is the branch of AUSA that's filled with student representatives, such as yourselves, um, that works to make positive changes on campus as well as improve AUSA policy. This year, the one candidate running for executive vice president is Andrew Rapet. Andrew, unfortunately, cannot be here in person today because he's in Spain currently, but please welcome him on the screen. The time for progress is now. The coronavirus pandemic has shown each of us that the campus life plays an important role in our education, which is why it's necessary for our events, our grants for clubs, and all the other responsibilities of AUSA to be handled as effectively as possible. However, this has not always been the case. Together, we can change that. My name is Andrew Rapet, and I'm running for EVP to do just that. Over the last year, I've given it my all, from on campus in the fall to abroad in the spring. As a member of Senate, I've introduced several bills and amendments to better AUSA. My efforts have been aimed at increasing transparency, having all interests of students represented, and in furthering diversity, inclusion, and equity on campus. While much has been done, much more is needed to be addressed in the following year. Together, we can do that. With your support, I plan on increasing fiscal responsibility, establishing permanent record keeping, and introducing a better voting system finalizing and clarifying the interior rules of AUSA, and much more. In addition, I plan to petition the Senate to create special representatives for diversity, inclusion, and equity on campus, so we can finally be on par with the other institutions at Andrews University. Last year, I worked with AUSA VPs, senators, and AU student life to come up with these plans and ideas. Together with you, we have the power to realize them. With campus business returning to normal and myself returning from Spain, I will have a once in a lifetime opportunity to serve you and the student body. With your su support, I can achieve something, progress. A vote for Andrew Rapet is a vote for change, a vote for your best interests and a vote for you. Hello again. Um, this is Dong Chen, the president of AUSA. I'm here to introduce our um, candidate for the president. So according to, according to the Constitution, the president shall be the chief representative and spokesperson of the AUSA, shall have full executive authority and re responsibility for the operation of the AUSA, shall protect the rights of AU students, shall appoint all persons to serve as official representatives to AUSA and shall fill va vacancies in the executive officers and post not otherwise outlined herein. The president shall be the chair of the meetings of the ASA assembly. So you might be wondering what does that mean? Um, so ASA president will be the leader and the overseer of ASA and he or she shall appoint the appointed position which for example the public relations, um, the re religious vice president for, in, the, in this case, and financial vice president, etc. And he will be the chief person of ASA. So please welcome Aya Pagunsen. She couldn't be here in person today, but please welcome Aya Pagunsen as she speaks. 
Throughout my time here on campus, I always wondered what my purpose was going to be. Was I going to be a student studying hard to get my degree? Or was I going to be someone active in the student body, trying to make changes? In the end, I found a growing love and passion for serving others. As Denise Morrison says, I think leadership is service and there is power in that giving to help people, to inspire and to motivate them to reach their fullest potential. My name is Aya Pagensen, and as all of you know, I'm running for AUSA president. My vision is to serve the student body through improving the social, emotional, and physical well-being of those here on campus. I really wish that I could be here in person with all of you today, but unfortunately, I have a time conflict with clinicals. Regardless, I hope they can feel the sincerity and see the change that I would like to bring to the Andrews campus. I truly believe that events are a great way for students to connect and also an opportunity for them to share their talents. This coming year, I hope to revamp some of our old events as well as create new ones where ideas can flourish, collaboration can occur, and new relationships can form. Some ideas I had in mind were having a food truck day, collaborating more with our clubs on campus, as well as just planning a bonfire vespers where we can relax after a hard week, rest in God's presence, as well as fellowship with our friends. We talk a lot about wellness here on campus, but is the school truly well and thriving? These last few years have definitely been difficult for all of us, but as your next AUSA president, I aim to make this upcoming year more than just a hard year. I believe that by creating more mental health days and creating a space where we can normalize talking about early burnout and seasonal depression, we can improve the wellness of this campus greatly. This can be through providing free food for our students or even just having a day where we can create a self-care goodie bag to get through the semester. Most of all, AUSA definitely cannot function without you, the student body. My hope this year is to make AUSA more accessible to the student body through open office hours. During this time, you can bring your feedback and concerns about events or the campus, bring ideas about events, or even just come and hang out with us. My purpose and the purpose I hope that the upcoming AUSA team is to serve you, to be a friend for you, to advocate for you, and most of all, be a voice for you. A vote for me is a vote for you. I'm excited to see what this new year brings. Thank you, Aya, for that speech. Um, that's it for today. Um, let's give one more round of applause for all the candidates who has given a speech today. Uh, What's going to happen next is Student Life, um, our sponsor, Dean DeLeon, and I will um, check all the votes. And uh, you can see the QR code up there. You can use your Andrews University account to vote. And please vote, because we need your voices, and we want to hear your voices. Um, if you still want to be part of ASA, there's still a lot of many different opportunities. Please check your emails, and one of the ways is by applying to the appointed positions. So the incoming president will contact or have interviews with you and review the um, application. Um, thank you so much, and Hyun will, Hyun, our religious vice president, will close this with a prayer. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being here today with us and with the candidates. Um, thank you for being with candidates as they speak about their plans and passion for uh, our school, Andrews University, for next year. Um, now, you have given us choice, and as we vote, as we ponder, um, please give us wisdom so that we can choose um, and vote for AOSA offices for next year. And I know no matter what outcome is, um, let us accept, let us believe, and hold on to your promise that you have said 
you have plans for us, plans of welfare, not of evil. Let us hold on to that promise, no matter what it is in the future. Like, we give us that faith that we have to believe. You always give us the best thing in all life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.